Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming through. If you are new to my channel, my name is Nika Frido, aka Nika F, and I welcome you all to my channel. So I'm going to be starting this series, Namaste with Nika. I am a certified power vinyasa teacher, and I've been really meaning to do this for a long, long time. Um, and I realized after quarantine, I haven't been really being as active as I used to be, and so I have gained a lot of weight. Um, and so I realized if I wait to get my body back the way I want it to be before I start the series, I may never start the series. So I decided to take you all on this journey to get back in shape. And if you share the same sentiments as I do and you just wanna get back in shape, um, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I will be coming with more yoga videos. I just wanna start off with a 10 minute power vinyasa flow. So please keep on watching and I'll see you at the end of the video. I'm gonna set my Apple Watch for yoga. And of course we'll have longer classes in the future. We're gonna start off class in child's pose. You're gonna bring your hips to your heels. You can bring your knees either together or you can separate them to opposite sides of the mat. And then bring your hips down to your heels. I'll try to keep my glasses on. Bring your forehead to the mat. And then bring your arms out in front of you or you can actually rest your arms back here if you prefer. Um, I personally like to have my arms this way and have my elbows relaxing on the mat. Bringing our fingertips to the top of the mat, so much so that your elbows lift off the mat and you can feel the stretch on both sides of your trunk. All right, and then we're going to bring our fingertips, uh, your right fingertips over to the right side of the mat, and then walk your left fingertips over on top of your right hand and feel the stretch in the left side body. And then walk your left hand over to the left side of the mat and allow your right hand to follow it on top of your left hand and feel the stretch on the right side body. Try to keep your forehead in the same place it was in the beginning so that you can really feel the stretch. And then bring your hands back to center. Spread your fingers wide. Allow, press down on your fingertips, your knuckles, your palms. And then lift your hips up, tuck your toes under, and come to your first downward facing dog of class. We're going to keep it moving by pedaling out the feet. Shaking the head yes, shaking the head no. And pedaling out. Our goal is to get to an upside down V shape. Of course, you can go ahead and stand up on your tippy toes. Bring the hips closer to uh, the ceiling and back and just stretch it out and then we're going to clean it up we're going to bring our heels closer to the mat they do not have to touch the mat and then we're going to bring our hips up and back and allow our arms and our shoulders our armpits to kind of rotate in and we're just going to breathe here all right on your next inhale we're going to bring our right arm or excuse me our right leg up and back and, and on your exhale go ahead and bring your knee in closer to your nose and then bring it plant your right hand down on the inside of the right your right foot down on the inside of the right hand rotate your back heel down come up for warrior one rotate your left hip forward and right hip back to square the hips and sit low Knee stack directly above your right ankle. And then we're going to move on into warrior two. Right arm forward, left arm back. Sit low, you can adjust as needed. Maybe you need a wider stance here. Make sure to keep the knee facing the top of the mat. Sit low, stretch long. Continue to breathe. If you're feeling the burn, keep it going. Then we're gonna cartwheel the hands down, step the right foot back, come to a push-up plank. If you need to, you can rest your, your knees down. But if you normally keep your knees down, challenge yourself today to have your knees up. 
use your abdominal muscles to keep you up. So your wrists are right under your shoulders. Go ahead and push your mat away. Exhale, lower down halfway. Push your heart forward. Unsuck your toes, upper facing dog, thighs off the mat. And as you exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, downward dog. What we do on one side, we do on the other. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Rotate your back heel down. And sweep the arms up for warrior one on the left side. Left hip back, right hip forward. And continue to breathe. Left knee stacked directly above left ankle. Arms up. And breathe in this moment. Go ahead and open the arms up for warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. Sit low, stretch long, arms in one line. Go ahead and focus on the middle left finger. And breathe here. And go ahead and cart the cartwheel hands down. Step the left foot back. Come to a push up plank. Inhale, push the mat away. Exhale, lower down halfway. Allow the elbows to bend back and graze the ribs. Push the heart forward. Untuck the toes. Upward facing dog. And then tuck the toes under. Lift the hips up and back, downward dog. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Keep your back heel lifted. We're gonna go for balance here. So right knee is still above your right ankle. And sweep your arms up, high lunge. Press down on the big right toe. Arms up, squeeze your left glute and breathe. Try to straighten out that back leg as best as you can. All right, inhale to reach the arms up. Reach the arms back for crescent lunge. And exhale, arms down. Go ahead and bring the right leg back. Come to a push-up plank. Inhale, push the mat away. Exhale, lower down halfway. Push the heart forward. Arms up the toes, upper dog. Thighs off the mat. And exhale, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back, downward dog. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step it through between your hands. Keep the back leg strong and straight. And bring the arms up. High lunge. Squeeze that right glute and sit here. Left knee stacked directly above left ankle. Arms up. Inhale to reach the arms up and arms back for crescent lunge. And exhale, arms down. Step the left foot back. Come to a push up plank. Inhale, push the mat away. Exhale, lower down halfway. Push the heart forward, untuck the toes. Upward facing dog. And tuck the toes under. Lift the up and back, downward dog. And then we're gonna come down to our knees on our butt. We're gonna go to Jano Sarasana, which is our head to knee. We're going to put the left, we're gonna put the left foot on the inner right thigh. And we're going to reach the arms up. And then we're going to slowly come on down. And if you can grab your foot, great. If you can grab a part of your shins, that's also fine. Go ahead and bring the hands to the feet if you can. And then slowly bend your elbows as you bring your forehead closer to your knee. And then we do it on the other side. Left leg out, right leg in. Keep the arms up. Lift your chest up and come on down. 
Bend at the elbows. And bring the forehead closer to the knee. And release. Go ahead and plant your knees. Plant your feet down. Knees up. Sweep your arms up and use your abdominal muscles to slowly come on down to Savasana. Use the control of your abs and you will get there. And once you're down, go ahead and bring your feet out, heels together. Feet are, uh, toes are fading out, arms down, palms up. And breathe here. You can close your eyes if you haven't already, or you can choose one spot on the ceiling to focus on. But continue to breathe in this moment. Take a deep inhale through your nose, through your throat, and fill up your belly. And exhale, AJ. Thank you for coming to my 10 minute class today. I'll see you all in the next video. Namaste.